Vamos a bailar, vamos a bailar. My cousin Rachel's wedding on bonfire night in 2016, and you could see there were um, fireworks that evening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the morning after the night before, and suffering from a wee bit of amnesia, we uh, reintroduced ourselves. Uh, <laughs> first and second names, age, a wee bit about ourselves, and how we knew the bride and groom. Um, so I'm sure Laura went first and she said, uh, oh, I'm 27, I know Chris and Rachel, blah, 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 blah. So I said, I could really, I thought to myself, I could really freak her out here. She thinking, I could say any age. So I said, oh, I'm baby Stephen. I'm Chris's wee cousin, Chris and Rachel's wee cousin. And I'm 18 years old. <laughs> so naturally Laura's freaking out and she's like, show me ID. So, I had to get my driving license out to show off the actual, that I was not 18, I was only I was 24 or something, so. You are the real thing The novel before the film All the nuance, every letter Aye, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we said our goodbyes and exchanged phone numbers um, I couldn't quite make out Laura's surname, so, uh, and I seen her eyes on my phone, so she's probably wanting to make sure that I took her number down here. Eh? So I didn't want to be rude, so I just wrote down H, really H A I C H, as in like the letter. And um, I didn't want to be rude and ask again, so uh, but it's, it's been in my phone ever since. I just didn't want to change it. So, oh. Laura H. Can you now? I could change it. To, <laughs> um, I said good. I said goodbye to Laura. She looked every bit as beautiful as the night before. Um, I barely recognised that he make up water later in the hotel reception when she sat down beside me to talk to me for a wee bladder. It wasn't until we started getting into the conversation I went, oh, oh yeah, hiya Laura, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Stephen. Hi Laura. Accept you Laura. Accept you Stephen. In marriage. In marriage. To be my wife. To be my husband. And I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of our strength. Of our strength. When we are together. When we are together. Walking on a tightrope Walking with the blindfold Sometimes that's what it feels like Sometimes that's what it feels like Standing on a cliff top Hoping that I won't die Sometimes that's what it feels like Sometimes that's what it feels like But I Florida one year and we were coming back uh, we noticed a small entourage of people following this 
famous, famous person, and we realised it was Ric Flair. Whoa! Uh, whoa! Um, for those who don't know Ric Flair, well, I'm assuming you do, he's like the Cristiano Ronaldo, but in the wrestling world. Um, it wasn't until my dad pointed out, he says, that's Ric Flair. Like a couple of schoolgirls we chased after him, looking for a picture. Thankfully, he obliged. It wasn't until after the picture, Stephen came up to me and says, he's going to think we're a couple of creeps. I looked at him in confusion, saying, why? Instead of putting his hand round the back of Ric Flair for a photo, he decides to cup his bum. <laughs> I says, what did you do that for? He says, I don't know, it was just a natural reaction. <laughs> the time that me and Stephen became more friendly, uh, Stephen went to a certain wedding and met a lovely girl who would then be referred to for weeks, weeks on end, as that bird from the wedding. <laughs> constantly, absolutely constantly. And the, the first time I actually met Laura, she done something that Stephen actually tends to do when he gets a bit drunk. And if you don't know what it is, then you'll definitely find out later. <laughs>